Hey, I'm Reed. This is Brad. Hi. And we're here to talk today about uh, some terms. So imagine you're about to go into a meeting and talk about NetApp technology, and you don't know anything about NetApp, but you have to pretend you do. This is going to be some, some content that hopefully helps you. Uh, so we've got a type, I guess this is a type of operating system. It's called 7 Mode. What's 7 Mode? 7 Mode is the older um, opera, uh, ONTAP version from NetApp. It's still supported. It's not supported on the 8000 series. It is on the 2500 series, but uh, it's still supported on all, all the older filers. Um, but they're phasing it out. It, it's going to go away eventually. So why? So they're phasing out seven mode. So the, seven mode is the older operating system, which a lot of people have. Mm -hmm. But they're moving to something called clustered data on tap. Right. So why are they doing that? And what is clustered data on tap? They're doing that because uh, with seven mode, you can only have two controllers. Okay. So with cluster mode, you can have, depending on the model, you can have up to sixteen heads in a single single cluster. And what that lets you do is, you know, say you have a hardware problem with one head and you've got, you know, six heads in your cluster. You got to yank a whole head out, fix it, put it back, you know, nothing goes down. So is it more, so is uh, cluster day on tap more about a performance a solution to a performance problem or it's performance availability? and availability both gotcha and when you have a c dot or cluster data on tap is it typically all the same filers within the cluster or can you use different filers within the same cluster that's a good question that i don't know the answer to <laughs> neither well, we'll answer that one on the next one but uh hopefully this has been this will help you out if you're going into a meeting talking about NetApp technology you're going to hear some of these terms and you'll be kind of educated in advance and prepared uh, and we'll talk about what kind of followers you could put inside of the cluster on right. the next one. So thanks for watching.